Saxons. Saxons. Welcome back to school and welcome back to Finn. I have a confession to make. I love democracy. Why is that relevant? You may ask. It's time for ASB elections. You have a civil duty to vote in elections, so why not exercise it now? You will vote for ASB. We're not asking. But before that, you will have to get through general news. Ferris Theatre Arts production of Romeo and Juliet is coming up in April. The theatre department is holding a program art contest. Submit your art as a PDF to be considered for the front page of the program. For more information, check out Ferris Theatre Arts' Instagram page. Tonight we have Drums and Jazz, a groove awakening at 7 in the auditorium. This concert features our two jazz bands and our two percussion ensembles. One of the unique tunes in this concert is an original piece for our drum line by Mr. Brugemeyer, Donuts in Space. The concert will be at about an hour and 15 minutes. At this concert, we're playing Donuts in Space, which is a super cool galaxy-esque piece. Um, it's super fun to play. There's a beatbox solo. We're also like kind of making a beatbox solo out of the instruments, which is really fun and cool. It's jazz and drums. Like, that's all you really need to know, right? Critical Mass, we've been working on it for a while, and it's one of the dip more difficult songs that we've done in jazz band, um, but it's a really fun song to do. It's kind of like a funk rock kind of piece, and it features our berry saxes, which don't really get featured very much. It's gonna be an awesome night. There's gonna be so much talented and music that's just gonna be heard, and it's just gonna be so fun to just kind of sit and listen and hear all the hard work that's gone into it. We're playing a really fun percussion tune called Dystopia, which is like kind of a creepy, um, creepy percussion piece about like, we made up a story about this girl who's like getting chased by something. We're not entirely sure what. It's just super fun and we played it for Solon Ensemble, so it's gonna be super awesome to share what we've been working on with all of you. My favorite song that we're playing is Round Midnight because I'm a big fan of ballads and being able to like explore the blend in a story of a song in order to create a very strong emotion. You should go to the Groove Awakening because not only is the jazz orchestra playing, but also the amazing jazz band and the amazing advanced percussion and the amazing drum line. And it's really, really cool. You should go now. And tomorrow, the Wind Ensemble and Concert Band perform at the Fox Theater at 7. This concert features the music of Randall Standridge. The piece the Wind Ensemble is playing is Symphony No. 1, A Ghost Story, a commissioned work of which they are part of. This will be the piece's Northwest premiere. The Wind Ensemble and Concert Band have been enjoying exploring the musical traits of one composer over the past 10 weeks. All the pieces are by Randall Sanford. He'll be introducing all of them, and it's at the Fox Theater, so it's really, really nice. My favorite piece of music is Not Alone because it goes through themes that talk about mental health with Randall's mom, so Shirley's theme, where she struggles with anxiety and depression. Currently, we are working on all of our dynamics, our rhythms, getting all of our notes right, just basically fine-tuning all the pieces to do Randall Stanford's justice. Wind Ensemble is playing Randall Standridge's first symphony, A Ghost Story, and I am so excited. Uh, we've been working on this all year and it's gonna be so good. I really like the fourth movement. Um, I like the acceptance and we're all going on our own journeys with grief and stuff. And we're all kind of grieving this symphony a little bit because we've worked so freaking hard on it. We're telling such a big story. I almost cry every time and I've been playing it since September and it's so moving and I think a really unique experience for people to get to see, especially it being in the Fox Theater and getting to see it for free. Just saying. Today and tomorrow, we have the two-part springboard concert in the auditorium. Day one features a jazz and percussion, and day two features the bands. And finally, on Wednesday, is the spring orchestra concert. All events are at 7 p.m., and admission to any event is free. For this week's teacher feature, here's Oliver Welker with math teacher Mr. Burns.
Hi, my name is Mr. Burns. I'm a math teacher here at Ferris High School. I've been teaching math for about 25 years. I've been teaching at Ferris for roughly 14. I enjoy math a lot. That's the reason why I chose math to teach. I was good at it as a young age. I still enjoy doing it to this day. I feel like, and I tell this in my class quite a bit, every week I find something in mathematics. I make a connection that I've never made before and that's what I really like about it. So we got two equations that we're gonna write. The first one's gonna be easy. The sum of the two numbers are, is 26. So let's do... I'm also a basketball coach here at Ferris High School for about 13 years now. I'm looking at about 22 years of coaching, um, just 13 of them here at Ferris. I really enjoy uh, coaching basketball. It's just a fun time to get to know kids on the court and, uh, as, and have that team aspect that I think everybody should get to experience at one point in their life. Uh, basketball was a sport that I latched onto as a young kid. I remember uh, being involved in pretty much every sport when I was younger and basketball is the one that I just felt was the sport that was fit, fit my personality the best. The things I love about Ferris is I love the students here. I think they're great. I love the community that we have here at Ferris more than anything though. I love the community of teachers. I love the community around all of our student body. I feel like I've taught in quite a few places and this by far has the best feel as a school. Um, when you walk in here, I feel like I'm coming home. What to do for spring break? So much to do like sleeping and I'm sure Luciana Madrid got some more ideas from the students. Um, I would be making music and spinning bars. So I get to go on a Washington DC trip over spring break and it'll be really fun. We're going to the African American Museum, so to learn a lot of African American history, and then also going to a lot of soul food places. So it'll be really exciting. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to be fly fishing and camping a whole spring break. We're going to Hallie and Taylor's birthday party! Yeah! Speaking of spring break stuff, I thought I ever heard that you had an idea. Oh yeah! Ever heard of this neat thing called geocaching? Sit down, I'll tell you all about it. Geocaching is an outdoor activity in which participants go and find geocaches, or caches for short which are small containers hidden by other participants in the community. To geocache, first you either need to go to the website or get the app to find some geocaches that are all around. Once you've found one that looks good to you, then go to the place and then go and find it. They have little hints as well, so if you're having a hard time finding them, go look for the hints. Or maybe a description can also help. There's thousands of geocaches all around Spokane. So if you need something to do, or just need to get out, geocaching could be a fun way of getting out and getting some exercise, or even just doing something new. I wish you luck in finding your geocaches. Moving on to club news. First Gen Club meets every Tuesday in the College and Career Center during both lunches. The Multicultural Club meets on Tuesday in M104. On Wednesday, Math Club meets in M116 after school. ASL meets in M303 from 2.30 to 3. And Chess Club meets in room M203 from 2.30 to 3.30. Our club meets every other Thursday in M502 at 2.30. Their next meeting is this Thursday, the 21st. Spanish Conversation Club meets Fridays during both lunches at M308. Now, on to sports news. Tonight we have varsity softball against NC at Ferris from 4 to 6, and soccer at Central Valley from 6.30 to 8.30. Tomorrow, we have varsity baseball at Mount Spokane from 3.30 to 5.30. On Wednesday, there's more varsity softball, also at Mount Spokane, from 4 to 6 as well as soccer against Meade at the Union Stadium from 6 to 8. On Thursday, there's Varsity Baseball at Ridgeline from 3.30 to 5.30, and Varsity Softball against Central Valley from 4 to 6. And finally, on Friday, we have more Varsity Baseball against Ridgeline, this time at Fairs from 3.30 to 5.30.
That's all for Finn. Stay tuned for the speeches from this year's ASB candidates. This week's Finn is brought to you by mathematicians. Vote in one for ASB, and they'll solve all your problems. Have, Have a great, great week, Saxons. Saxons. Hey, Saxons. My name is Hannah Scout, and I will be your public relations officer for the 2024-2025 school year. I am so thankful for the opportunity to make a positive impact on Ferris, and I am eager to encourage participation, community building, and fun all throughout next year. I hope to acknowledge the variety of clubs, sports, and programs that all contribute to making Ferris a great school. I truly value being involved here, and I hope that you will begin to feel the passion that I have for this school. I hope to act as a voice for the general student body, and I promise to take steps each and every day to make Ferris an enjoyable and comfortable place where each and every student feels valued. I belong, you belong, we belong. Have a great day, Saxons. Hey Saxons, I'm Ella, and I'm so excited to be taking on the role of ASB Secretary for this next school year. I am looking forward to serving the Ferris community as a kind, approachable, and responsible leader. I am already involved at Ferris through multiple sports and clubs, as well as being a part of the ASB class, and I am excited to become further involved by taking on this role. As Secretary, I will make sure our ASB class remains legal and goes about orders of business in the most efficient way. I also want to ensure that students at Ferris have an approachable and outgoing point person to voice any potential concerns to, as well as keep you informed of the process and outcome of addressing any issues. I will responsibly handle the logistics of the ASB class so that we don't run into any legal issues and can remain focused on making Ferris a welcoming and engaging environment for all students. I find so much joy in the things I am passionate about, and I am passionate about advocating for the students at Ferris. I want to bring a joyful and fun-loving attitude to the executive board as we continue to create an environment where every student is welcomed, respected, and engaged at Ferris. Go Saxons! Good morning, everybody. My name is Lillian Lynx, and I'm running for ASB Treasurer. Let's be honest, an awesome high school experience doesn't just happen, it takes resources and work. As treasurer, I'm not just your bookkeeper, I'm the architect of our best year yet. Here's a couple of reasons why I'm the correct candidate for the job. I'm a numbers girl. My brain thrives on spreadsheets and budgets. I'll make sure your money is safe and accounted for. I'm a great team player. Being treasurer is a team job after all. And I'll be collaborating closely with the whole ASB team to understand all our needs and ideas and make sure that the budget goes towards the activities that make your high school experience great. I will work hard to make sure that the Ferris community is as inclusive and supportive as possible. Now I want you to imagine spirit weeks that knock your socks off, dances that are truly, truly unforgettable, sports and clubs that are thriving. We can make that happen together. With me as treasurer, let's build a budget that reflects your dreams for our high school experience. Vote Lillian Links for ASB Treasurer and let's make our future bright. Go Saxons! Hey Saxons, my name is Talon Avery and I'm running to be your next treasurer. When it comes to choosing your next treasurer, you're not just looking for someone who can count coins. You need someone who can make those dollars dance. That's where I come in. Picture this, a treasurer who's not just about spreadsheets and budgets, but someone who can turn fundraising into fundraising. My financial knowledge comes from four years of lemonade stand experience, so you know you're in good hands. Aside from my business experience, I have a lot of skills that will help me serve you as a treasurer. I work well with others, I'm very responsible, and I can work well under pressure. I have prior leadership experience as well, go Chase Chargers, and I'm heavily involved in the Ferris Theater Arts Department where I've gained an appreciation for our Ferris community as a whole. Keep in mind, a vote for Talon Avery is a vote for you. As your treasurer, I will make sure that your 2024 to 2025 school year is the best one yet. And always remember, you can count on Talon Avery time. Hey Saxons, I'm Kale Steinbaugh and I'm so excited to be running for your next Vice President. 
Being VP means a lot to me because I'm all about bringing the energy and making sure everyone feels included and supported at Ferris. Whether it's organizing events, lending a hand, or just being a friendly face in the hallway, I'm here to make high school awesome for all of us. I truly believe that every great team needs someone who's, true, who's ready to roll up their sleeves and make things happen. And that's exactly what I'm all about. As your VP, I'll be the link between all the officers and making sure our goals are met and our voices are heard. So why am I the best candidate? Well, I'm all about positivity, teamwork, and getting stuff done. I've got experience leading in my church youth group, can, captaining sports teams, and even serving in the ASB back in middle school. Plus, I'm pretty easygoing and get along with just about everyone. Let's make this year unforgettable together. Vote for me, Kel Steinbaugh, for VP, and let's make Ferris High School the place to be. Hey Saxons, I'm thrilled to announce that I'm running for ASB Vice President. It's a big role, but it's one I'm ready to take on with enthusiasm. I have a lot of experience in holding leadership positions, and I'm currently serving as Vice President in BSU. I feel proud and honored that I have the privilege to help run BSU. Here at Ferris, we have a diverse student body with people of different races, ethnicities, shapes, sizes, and interests. As Vice President, I want to represent each and every one of you with, in a fair and equitable way. My goal is to leave an extraordinary legacy at Ferris, making it even better than when I found it. I have some excellent ideas, but I'm also a great listener. I look forward to hearing your questions and concerns and relaying them back to ASB. I believe that being a good leader means being strong-willed, reliable, kind, passionate, trustworthy, and caring. Let me lead Ferris to another rubber chicken dub and work together to lead our school to an even greater success. Let me help make Ferris a place where everyone truly feels like they belong. Vote for me as your ASB Vice President and let's make a difference together. What's up, Saxons? I'm Estelle Moffitt, and I'm running for 2024-2025 ASB president. But let me take a moment to share a bit more about myself. One thing you should know is that I love to laugh. To me, there's no greater feeling than the pure joy of laughter. And you know where I find myself laughing the most? Right here at Ferris. Whether it's sharing jokes with friends in the hallway or sharing a moment of hilarity in class, this community has given me countless opportunities to laugh and cherish these moments. My involvement at Ferris has only amplified this experience. Through various clubs and sports teams, I've had the chance to connect with incredible peers who share my love for laughter and my passion for making the most out of every moment. Together, we've created lasting memories and forged friendships that I will treasure for a lifetime. But just beyond having a good time, my experiences here have taught me something invaluable. The importance of creating a welcoming and inclusive environment for everyone. I believe that every student deserves to have a place where they can laugh freely, live authentically, and feel a sense of belonging. As ASP president, I'm committed to fostering a school culture where laughter is abundant, spirits are high, and every student feels welcomed and valued. That's why, as your ASP president, I will prioritize inclusivity, unity, and student empowerment. I will work tirelessly to ensure that every voice is heard and that every perspective is valued. I am committed to making a difference by focusing on key areas that matter most in our school community. My vision for our school includes enhancing school spirit, providing means for effective communication, and promoting community engagement. Together, we will embrace our diverse community and strengthen connections to build a more inclusive Ferris family. So let's continue to laugh together, make memories, and create a school community where everyone feels at home. With your support, I am confident that we can make Ferris a place where laughter is truly the best medicine. Be lit, vote Moffitt. What's up, Saxons? I'm here before you today as a candidate for being the ASB president of Ferris High School. I'd like, to thank, I'd like to begin by thanking you for listening to me. I'm truly honored by the opportunity to serve our school community. My name is Tan May Bot, and I believe in the power of the creativity in each and every one of your voices and the importance of inclusive leadership. Whether you're just a student, member of a club, athlete, musician, or a part of Ferris in any way, you are a part of our community. A community where every single person plays a vital role. As your president, my goal is to ensure that every one of those voices is heard and valued because I firmly believe that the best decisions are made when everyone has a seat at the table. But let me be clear, inclusive leadership doesn't mean chaos or lack of direction. It means harnessing the diversity of the unique perspectives, talents, and ideas that exist within our student body to chart a course for our success as a school. 
means fostering an environment where innovation can thrive, where every student feels empowered to contribute, and where we can all work together towards our common goals. If any of you remember Rubber Chicken earlier this year, we won. But we didn't win because of any one person. We won because we worked together, tirelessly screaming and yelling to express our school spirit. That moment was powerful because us together all had a common goal, and we worked together to achieve that common goal. I want to bring that feeling of community and belongingness back to the students and make sure they have it every single day. Now, having an empowering and open community isn't easy. It requires having vision, organization, and accountability. My experiences of being part of the fantastic music environment programs, our amazing sports, and the leadership class have given me these qualities. As your president, I will bring these to the table. I will listen to your concerns, advocate for your needs, and work tirelessly to ensure that Ferris High School continues to be a place where every student can learn and grow. And more importantly, make sure Ferris High School as a community will succeed. Together, we can build a stronger, more vibrant school community, one where each of us has the opportunity to make a difference. So I ask for your support, your trust, and your vote. If you want your way, if you want a say, make sure you vote Tan May. Thank you.